Hey everybody, it's Dizzy and welcome to my channel. So yesterday I did an unboxing of my Notoriously Morbid June box, which were the worst heroes ever theme, which is based on Suicide Squad. And I asked you guys if you wanted a um, get ready with me, and you did, so that's what I'm doing. Um, also, my hands have a slight blue tent to them because I just... Um, added a little bit of a teal like kind of overtone to my hair just because it was fading purple so don't worry i'm fine my hands just look a little blue i'm gonna zoom in a little bit tonight my husband and i and a friend are going to a movie so this get ready with me is actually legit because i'm going somewhere after this is over so um i'm gonna try to use as much as i can from the box but i will be pulling in some shades that are matte from notoriously morbid just to kind of make this a complete look my eyebrows are already done i am wearing the night kiss lip balm from the box right now which is lose control which is cinnamon sangria caramel and oh my gosh this stuff is so good it's very hydrating feeling on the lips and the smell I don't really smell the sangria, but I definitely smell the cinnamon and the caramel, and it's just real good. So, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and look, parts of my forehead are blue. Like, this is an experience. Okay, so, first world problems for people with colored hair. Um, by the way, the movie tonight we're seeing is The Mummy, which has terrible reviews, but hopefully it will be entertaining and fun. I'm kind of excited about it. So, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eye. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with Notoriously Morbid's Alpha and Omega. It's just a matte um, kind of peachy shade. And I'm just taking that on a fluffy brush. I'm getting that in my crease. And then I'm going to take Murder of Crows from Notoriously Morbid, which is like kind of a white with like a little bit of almost like a pink undertone to it. And I'm going to get that up here and sort of blend them down into each other. I'm going to take Gypsy Curse, which is more like a dusty taupey gray. And I'm going to take a angled kind of fluffy brush and just get that in my crease, in like the deep part of my crease. Oh man, okay, hold on. Let me grab the cat. Remington, Remy Pants. Say hi to the peoples and go away. I usually put down a base shade and I didn't today and I can definitely tell because blending is a little harder than usual. Anyway. So that is some crease action. So now let's go in with the colors from the box. Fernet Pixie Epoxy. This is a foiling medium primer type thing. And I'm gonna get that all over the mobile lid. And now I need a flat brush. Okay, it's just a flat brush. And I'm gonna go in with that Killer Crocs shade, which is Aren't You Scared? which was the one that's kind of a, can I get the jar open? Okay, there we go. Um, it's like a, like a green with some gold in it, like an olive. Ooh. So that was a little bit lighter than I expected it to be, which is cool. I guess I'll throw that on the lid, obviously. It's a pretty color. I'm not mad about it. Okay. Then I'm going to take one of the other shades from here. I think I'm going to do, where's that like teal? Asset Relocation is this really awesome teal duochrome kind of thing. So I'm going to try to use that on the other side of the brush and get that on the outer part of the eye. Holy cats. I'm going to put a little bit of Gypsy Curse, which was that kind of grayish shade 
under the lower lash line just a little just so there is some definition down there what were the other colors in this oh okay so i'm using this dark one as a liner and then there was what color was this oh this is kind of a red so i think i'm not going to use this one um just because i don't want this to be like two red tones i'm kind of liking how this looks a little cool toned I'm going to be going back in with more Gypsy Curse, which was that gray, and just accenting the crease a little bit better. That's kind of cool. I love that um, the two green shades on the lid are really nice. Okay, then to do my liner, I'm going to be using Stench of Death, which was that really dark shade a lot of really complicated glitters in it and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to mix it with uh, Darling Girl uh, Superstar Serum which is pretty much the same thing as Doraline and uh, create an eyeliner with it so and I'm going to theoretically create a wing <laughs> with this I didn't mean to go all the way into the inner corner, but that happened. But wow, that's a pretty color. I don't know if you guys can see the tones in that. It's got some really cool glittery, sparkly business happening there. Um, so then I need an inner corner highlight because I just went really dark on the inner corner without meaning to. So I'm going to try out the highlighter from this. This is the step out of the shadows highlighter and I'm just going to put a little tiny bit right around the tear duct on the inner part of the eye. Ooh, and that's pretty. I'm even going to go a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And I haven't put on foundation yet because I knew I'd be dealing with loose shadows that kind of have some fallout. So once I have on like concealer and stuff, this will kind of get tied together a little bit better. But I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara. This is the Wet n Wild Lash Renegrade Mascara. Stupid brush. Stupid packaging. Pretty good mascara. So that is one eye done. I'm going to go into the other eye and come back. Okay, so I've got both eyes done. I'm going to just put on a little bit of blush and then do that highlight we're all excited about. So I'm going to start with the Essence Sun Club bronzer in the lighter skin color. This is a really nice bronzer for my pale olive skin tone that isn't so pale right now. Um, I really like it. I'm using this to warm up my skin a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with Milani Powder Blush in Romantic Rose. And just getting that a little bit more on the actual apple of the cheek itself above where I put the bronzer. There we go. And then now let's play with that highlight. So I'm going to be taking the um, e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush and dipping into that highlight from the Vanishing Cabinet and uh, seeing what we get. Oh, that's really pretty. I like that. It gives a glow, but it's not like screaming. So yeah. So far, I've liked everything in the box a lot. Um, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips and do lipstick. The lipstick I'm really excited about. So it is one of the uh, Mystic Mattes, and it is Stay Evil Doll Face. Um, and I'm going to take the NYX Dark Red Lip Liner and line my lips and try this color out. Because I need a lip liner with everything. Okay, so here we go. Here's the lipstick. It'll be fun. All right.
Oh wow, this is a great color. This is the prettiest red lipstick I think they make. I really wish this was permanent because <laughs> this is a really, really good red. So yeah, there we go. That's my get ready with me. Um, all right, so this is really the end. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.